Hi and welcome to the Windows 8 videos. In this video I wanted to talk a bit about backups and the multiple ways that you can back up your computer. So as with most things in Windows 8, there is more than one way to do your backups. However, in this video I'll talk about backing up your whole computer. As I've already covered how to back up just your files, so we're going to use a more holistic approach to backing up. If you need to know more about backing up your files, then I suggest you go ahead and watch my video called Backing Up Your Files in the Files section. But this method is more of a blanket backup. And what it does is it creates an image of your hard drive. And that's the official term, an image. It's basically a picture. That image, provided you're backing up the drive where your files are stored, will include your files. Now where you use this method is in the event that you have a catastrophic failure. So let's say for example something happens to your computer and you cannot boot it anymore, it won't boot into Windows. Instead of reinstalling it, what you do is recover from this backup that we're creating. You also have a third option when it comes to backups and that's restoring to a point in time. So if you made some changes on your PC and it's acting all funny, you can go back to the time before you made the change and everything should start working properly. Having said that, the method that we're using now isn't quite as easy as just backing up your files. So if you're going to use this backup approach, it may be advantageous for you to also use file history, which is here, and use that for just regularly backing up your files, and maybe only do the full backup once a year or every time you make significant changes to your PC. So this might seem complicated to you at first, but once you run through this video a couple of times, you'll see that it's really quite easy and there's nothing to be too concerned about. What you will need is two to three blank DVDs and you'll need your optical drive in your PC. So most optical drives or CD drives these days are DVD burning drives as well. You can also use a USB drive for this, but it's not going to help you that much if you can't boot into Windows. It's a bit more complicated, so it's best to use DVDs and put the image on DVDs and if you need to recover it's simply a matter of booting from the DVD. But don't panic too much because I'll show you how to do it all. The first thing that we need to do is go into this section here where we see Windows 7 file recovery and it's strange that they've called it Windows 7 when we're running Windows 8 but um, they're doing this for whatever reason so we need to double click that and open it up and we need to select this top option here which is create a system image. These two options here are essentially the same thing, so don't be too concerned. Just pick the top one, and once we click on it, it will go away and look for any available backup devices. Should you have an external hard drive plugged in, it will detect it like it has now. But what we're doing in this example is putting all of the images to DVDs. So you'll need about two or three of them for this exercise. So we select that and then select Next. We tell it what drive we want to back up. So in this example, we're backing up our C drive and then select Next. At this point here, we are just confirming our backup settings. And once you're happy with that, you go ahead and select Start Backup. And it will go away and do what it needs to do. And it will give you the instructions. So you insert your DVD. It will tell you when it's finished. It will tell you what to write on it. And then you insert the next DVD and so on. Once you're finished, you will see this screen here where it asks you if you would like to create a system image. We don't need to do that, so just select No. And that's it. Once those disks are created and labeled properly, you need to put them in a safe location. Now, in the event that you have a failure with the operating system, so a software failure, not an actual hardware failure, you can repair your computer with these DVDs. And I'll show you in another video how simple it is to do that. Examples of a failure could be something like a virus, or you've installed something and you've broken Windows 8. There are a number of things that can go wrong. Sometimes things just corrupt if, for example, your computer doesn't get shut down properly a number of times. So it's good to have these on hand because it will save you in repair costs in the event that it doesn't work and you have to call an IT techie out to restore your machine. You can just give him these DVDs if you don't have access to my videos and he can recover your computer as it was in a very short period of time, both saving you money and time. So in the next video, I'll show you how you go about restoring from your DVDs.